So when starting an EPA or electrostatic protected area, the first thing we want to start is grounding. Here today, we're going to select the equipment grounding conductor, the third wire ground, and we have to measure it to make sure that everything is wired correctly and that the grounding conductor is less than one ohm back to the mains. We're going to use this piece of equipment to measure a couple of outlets to see if we have good grounds in this area. So let's go measure the first one. So we have already discussed, we got to talk about grounding. And the first thing we have to do is make sure the grounding system we picked is wired correctly and has less than one ohm impedance. So here we go checking our first ground. This instrument comes on, it tells us if, if we have hot ground and neutral wired. And this indication is an F blinking. An F blinking means we have a false ground here. False ground means most likely the ground is hooked to the neutral directly, which you find in older homes, older installations. So in this case, this either has to get fixed or we have to find another ground uh, outlet that is working. So now we're gonna test this outlet to see if we have a good ground. We're using the same instrument that we did before. And if we plug it in, here we get the indication of all good wiring. We have good hot ground and neutral. They're not wired together and we have a good ground. The second measurement we want to make now that we know we have wires is we want to make the ground impedance measurement. Remember that has to be less than one ohm in order to meet all our specs. So we go to the impedance measurement, ground, and you can see it's very low. In fact, meter can't measure it, so it's much less than one ohm. So at this point, now we've established a good grounding system, a good grounding place to connect, and we can start connecting our ESD control equipment to this particular ground. The other ones we may have to get fixed before we do that. 